Hello and welcome to day two of the Monsoon Cup, live from here in Kuala Tringanu. It is the eighth and final event on the 2011 World Match Racing Tour. It's day two and things are starting to get really exciting. For those of you that watched the show last night, you know we had some very testing weather conditions. We had everything from 40 knots right down to the final flight being abandoned due to lack of wind. But I can tell you we woke up this morning, there were glimpses of sunshine. There has been a few spots of rain this morning, but right now it is dry and shortly I will be heading down to the dock to speak to some of the sailors before they head out on the water. Now let's have a look at those all important results from yesterday. So with four flights being completed we saw Bjorn Hansen of Sweden come out in the top spot with three wins and no losses so a fantastic day for the non-tour card holder. Another great day from fellow Swede Johnny Bernson who uh, also won two and lost none. Bruni as well two wins and no losses. It wasn't a great day for for the guy that leads the top of the table right now, Ian Williams of Great Britain, who didn't win any of his two matches. So no wins and two losses for him. Also the same score from Mathieu Richard of France with no wins and two losses. But remember, this is the eighth and final event on the 2011 World Match Racing Tour. So we need to have a look at those standings after seven events to see how people are looking coming into this event because it really is tight at the top. Ian Williams leads the top of the table with 106 points closely followed by Francesco Bruni of Italy with 100 points then Mursky of Australia with 99.8 points so very very tight with those three sailors then in the middle of the pack fourth fifth sixth and seventh and eighth in fact all very tight any of those guys could make it onto the podium so it really is all to play for here remember they're not just competing for the monsoon cup which is here right behind me they're also competing for our brand new trophy bought here and designed and built by Garrard, the famous jewelers and we'll be showing you a little clip later on of our launch party that we had in Kuala Lumpur but for now I'm delighted to say I'm joined by tour director Craig Mitchell who's going to give us his opinion on what he thinks is going on at the moment. Craig it was a, a big day yesterday first of all I want to talk to you about Ian Williams he didn't win either of his two matches is the pressure getting to him? Well I don't, I don't think the pressure is getting to him but um, it's always good to sell, start off on the right foot and uh, yesterday he's probably you know pushed a little bit onto the back foot um, the, uh, one of the issues he had was that um, the first match of the first flight um, didn't happen due to some uh, due to some damage, and so they what they did is they pushed everybody up in the order and just got on with it. Um, and Ian got the timings a little bit wrong. Uh, there's a bit of a communication breakdown between uh, the race committee and the boat and the umpires, um, and so that sort of took five minutes away from him that he you know forgot about, and so he thought you know he should be allowed to race again. Um, he lost the match. Um, and so that kind of, you know, starts, st you don't start off in a, on, the, on the best foot um, uh, that way. Um, so that maybe, you know, disrupted him a little bit. Um, but, you know, he's got to get to five or six points to get through to the next round. So I don't think it's a major new day today. So I think he'll be calm again. But, I mean, Ian really likes coming to these events and trying to win qualifying rounds. That hit, that's his thing. That's his USP. And coming in yesterday, I mean, he was properly upset when he came in off the water. There was shouting. He was very emotional about the situation. And to be fair, it didn't affect anyone else. Everyone else got their timings right. So, is, you know, is this, is it, are we seeing a weak spot here? <laughs> well, I think a couple of years ago he had a, he had a nightmare here. Um, you know, but he's also won the event. You know, so, like you say, he knows what he needs to do to, um, to make it all work. Um, but um, I think um, he'll be fresh again today and it's uh, all going all gonna to run well. Now, a great day for the Swedish sailors as well. Bjorn Hansen, obviously top of the qualifying rounds at the moment with three wins. Johnny Bernson on two wins. So good day for them. Yeah, for sure. You know, the, the, the Vikings are out in force. You know, certainly wild winds and wild weather tomorrow. I mean, I, I, everyone said they've never seen it like this here. And certainly it was, uh, it was pretty spectacular. Um, but, you know, so... Yeah, they had, a, they had a great start, and that's uh, certainly for Bjorn, you know, he's, he's, he's eyeing the podium for certainly the Monsoon Cup, and, and if any of the guys up above him in the overall standing slip, then, you know, he's going to be there to, to, take the, uh, to, take the, to take the steps to, to jump on the podium. So with only four flights yesterday, it's a little bit early to read into things. It, it's hard to say who's going to do well and who's going to do badly when they've only got a couple of, couple of numbers on the board. But, you know, there's a lot of pressure on these guys. It's the last event. This is it for those of them that want to go on and do the tour next year. This is a chance to really prove themselves. And for those that maybe aren't coming back, this is their final shot at it. 
Absolutely, yeah. I mean, and as the days go on, the uh, the pressure mounts. But maybe the pressure doesn't mount. It's all in the it's all in the head. But certainly, you know, it's when we've got to the point where teams have sailed five or six races, you know, that's when it really starts to, um, you know, the, the the scheme starts to fall together as to what people need to do in the, those last few flights to actually uh, to get into the uh, to the next round. And what about the weather? I mean, we saw it all yesterday, and I think today is going to be a very similar day. You know, that can't be easy, the gear changing between conditions. Well, certainly, yeah. I mean, they've got new sails on the boats as well. Um, and, and, when the, and when the breeze is up, you know, you need to switch down to the jibs, and, you know, then the breeze drops again back to the Genoas. And so, you know, the trimmers have got to be really on it to, to, to keep those gear changes going. Um, you know, so it's, it's, it's pretty full on out there. Okay, Craig, thank you very much for joining us. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about the new trophy that we have here that somebody this week will win for the first time here on the 2011 World Match Racing Tour, designed by the prestigious and oldest jewellers in the world, Garrard from London. We had a launch party in Kale. It was a fantastic event. And then the trophy was flown here to Kuala Tringano. And this is how it got here. official unveiling of the brand new ISAF World Match Racing Tour Championship Trophy. We had one official launch at the Garrard flagship store in London and now here we are in the heart of Kuala Lumpur for the second official unveiling ahead of the Monsoon Cup, the eighth and final event on the 2011 World Match Racing Tour. We are joined by dignitaries and a host of Malaysia's high society here this evening who have all come to celebrate this fantastic night with Datuk Patrick Lim, the executive chairman of the World Match Racing Tour. We've gone around the world We've managed to have a tie-up with Garrard and Garrards are here in Malaysia and I think that's a, a huge vote of confidence for the tour as a whole and the event here. It's my end. It's a big thing. Uh, it's almost as if London's come to Kuala Lumpur this evening. What we are hoping is given the world-class nature of World Match Racing Tour, and with Gerard having been in the trophy business for 235 years, that this is year one of a perpetual trophy that uh, is around for hundreds of years. Uh, I think it's a very good uh, this, uh, relationship between the two. And uh, I, I really hope you know, this uh, metro will continue to expand and uh, both uh, parties will benefit from this uh, cooperation. I, I look at this thing and realize that it's only three months old and equally, I look at it with the same sort of uh, reverence that I look at, say, the America's Cup, made by the same jeweller, and realise that that's 160 years old. And when we're long gone and dead and buried, this will still be around and still being fought for in that Tracy. And that, to me, is incredibly exciting. Malaysia has always been a fantastic host for all of these international events. We're getting more and more recognition as a host, and we're getting more and more international events being hosted here. Fantastic turnout by the great and the good of uh, Malaysia. It's wonderful to see the support that the Monsoon Cup as an individual event, and, but also as part of the tour has. Uh, it's clearly a hugely important event in Malaysia. You know, it started as, as a single sailing event, as far as Malaysian participation anyway, in Tranganu. And now to have, you know, uh, uh, a Malaysian entity being instrumental in managing, owning and managing the entire tour. So I think it's a fantastic achievement, which all of us can be very proud of. I think the trophy has led the tour to another level which it didn't think it could get to and uh, it's a fantastic thing. It's really on another plane right now. Well, I've left the comfort of the studio and I've taken a welcome break in the rain to come down here onto the dock ahead of racing. I'm joined by Matthew Richard. Matthew, you're first out on the water this morning. Uh, not a great start yesterday, was it? 
No, 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 yesterday was not a great start, again under the rain, uh, well, we, we sailed only two matches uh, on our side and uh, indeed we lost the two matches, so it was not uh, the start that we expected. Quite a different event for you this year than it was last year. Last year you were coming in, everyone thought you were going to win the World Tour and in the final weekend it didn't happen. Is it nice not having that pressure on you here this year? <laughs> Are you kidding? No, for sure it's uh, it's uh, much much better to to fight for the title. But uh, it's the way it is. Last year we were leading. Uh, this year we are not in a in a good position. But uh, yes, it's disappointing. But uh, we have to to deal with that and uh, try to have a good regatta here anyway. Okay, and looking at the top three guys who really have a chance at the title, who who's your money on? As I said, uh, it's very close, but uh, but I would put my money on on Bruni because uh, because I think they are probably not the favourite, but I think they are at least as strong as the others, and and uh, yeah, I think that they, they will probably win, probably win, but never uh, nobody knows. <laughs> and they got better odds. You say they're not the favourite. You'll get more money if they win anyway. That's why <laughs> I put money on them. <laughs> All right, Matthew, we are heading out this morning to to resell uh, Jeremy Koo, I believe, after after yesterday. Yeah, it's not a resale, but uh, we didn't sell yesterday because there was a, a breakdown on the boats, and uh, so that's why we are selling uh, first two, two days this morning. Uh, yeah, so this is the first match of the day. Okay, well, very best of luck. At least we got a bit of sunshine yeah, for you. Good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, we're going to continue down the dock and see who else we can find. Of course, all these guys getting ready to head out on the water. First up this morning, as we've heard, is Matthew Richard against Jeremy Koo. They're going to make up a match that they didn't sail yesterday. I'm just walking past Jesper Radic's boat. Adrian Lee in partners. Nick Blackman on the bow. Blackie, do you want to come and have a quick chat? <laughs> so they were out on the water yesterday, bit of a mixed day yesterday, Black. You were out there in the worst of the weather. Tell me a little bit about those conditions. Um, yeah, it's probably some of the most full-on match racing conditions I've ever sailed in. Sort of started in little to no wind at all and then ended up in sort of 30 plus knots, not being able to see the top mark whatsoever. And we were, our first race against Bjorn Hansen, we were leading and then had a um, a disappointing manoeuvre on the final downwind, which we won't talk about, which ended up... Um, Come on, we will talk about it. Oh, well, um... Oh, okay. I, I think, we, we I were, think we were we going for a jibe, but um, there was decision on the boat, I'm not sure who, it just happened. Instead of going for a jibe, it's called a, a chicken jibe, which is basically you come around and, and tack and try and bear away. Um, and there was some, yeah, a few people weren't happy on it, but that was the call that was made and unfortunately didn't go well. So us, allowing Bjorn to slip past and take the lead. So presumably that's a manoeuvre. I think we, in England we call it a chicken tack. Yeah, when, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you, it, it's, a, it's a safety yeah, reason yeah. really, isn't it? Yeah, and there was talk that one of our guys has gone around the world and, and he sailed around the world and never did that. So why are we talking match racing? But <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we, we won't talk about that anymore. No, so but, um, anyway, that, that you lost the then, match but, as a yeah, result. And then we, but we went on to race Gilmore and we... Won that one, so we're one and one, so we're clean slate, looking for a good day today. Okay, so I'm wandering around the dock, I've just spoken to Richard about who he thinks is going to win the championship this year. Who's your money on? Ooh. Of those top three, Mersky, um, Bruni, Williams. Um, I think that Bruni's a pretty cool customer, I reckon he could slip under the radar. There's a lot of talk between Williams and Torva, and not too much about Bruni, but I think, I don't know, if he's in a relaxed frame of mind, which I think he is this week, he could, he could slip in and be one to watch. Okay, well, I can see it in Williams' boat over there, so uh, we'll keep that okay. one quiet. I won't tell him that you don't think it's going to be him that's going to win the championship. So we're going to continue down the dock. I can see the team of oh, Hansen's, Bjorn Hansen's team, had a great day yesterday. Here's Philip from Mechanome and Sailing Team, Bjorn Hi. Hansen. Um, a wonderful day yesterday. Congratulations, oh. top of the leaderboard. Yeah. It's a good place to be. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not sure if it uh, was a wonderful day yesterday. We were quite soaking wet all the time and uh, had some tight matches. Um, it feels great this morning. We spoke to Bjorn last night. He seemed pretty upbeat about how things were going. You're so yeah. tall. I always oh, forget sorry. how tall you are. Yeah. Uh, he's, he seemed pretty upbeat <laughs> about you know where you guys were. You know, there's not a huge amount of pressure on you, and this is a long-term goal for next year and getting a tour card. So it's a it's a comfortable place to be. Yeah, definitely. This is uh, this is. I think this is going to be our event. It feels uh, quite comfortable for us. Uh, we have the good team from uh, from Marstrand, and uh, there's no real pressure on us. Um, Bjorn feels happy and uh, I think uh, this is it and then uh, for, uh, getting ready for next year. Now rumour has it it's going to be a Scandinavian or a Swedish team that's going to win the Monsoon Cup. How do you yeah. feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see. Right now it looks, uh, it looks quite good. The, the, Sweden, the Swedish guys are, are leading right now, 5-0. Uh, so um, 
Nice, bring it on. Yeah, we will. So, and Bjorn said last night he reckoned his money was on Mirski for the world title. What, what do you think? Yeah, we, we actually talked a little bit about that in the car. Um, he, he's doing quite well, but um, it's either Mirski or Bruni in, in my mind. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Wow, okay, all right, controversial. Yeah. Thanks, we'll keep going. Keep wandering along the dock. I can see a couple of guys from uh, Ian Williams' team just getting ready there. Mal Parker on the dock. Mal? Can we borrow you for a minute? Don't worry, take your time, it's only live TV. So Mal, not, not the best start yesterday. We saw Ian getting pretty uh, irate and emotional on the dock after, after one of his particular matches. How's the mood on board? Yeah, we've, um, we're trying to put yesterday behind us, uh, if we're honest. Um, wasn't our best day. Pretty extreme weather and uh, hopefully we'll do a little better today. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty hard coming into an event like this. You're at the top of the leaderboard. There's quite a lot of pressure on you. You know, are we starting to see some cracks or not? No, not at all. That's oh, the, come on, man. No, not at all. <laughs> no. It's just the first day and it's a long regatta and uh, kind of get better from here. So you had one race against Peter Gilmore, which, uh, which you lost, obviously. That, that yeah. could turn out to be quite a crucial match. It could do. Every, every point's important, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, you know, it was pretty extreme weather and Peter ha handled that a little better than we did. And, you know, that's, that's something we have to live with, try and put behind us and go out and do what we know we can do. So. OK, Mal. All yeah. right. Well, very best of luck today. Mal Parker from Team GAC Pindar sailing with Ian Williams. They're obviously at the top of the leaderboard. There are two other boats behind me, but their team's yet to come down to the dock. So we are going to leave it here. Do not forget, we will be back with you between three and five local time. That's UTC plus eight with the best live action from on the water with myself, Mark Chisnell and the rest of the team. Of course, you can follow us on Twitter. You can use the hashtag WMRT or we're also at World MRT or on Facebook, www www.facebook.com forward slash world match racing tour send us an email get in touch follow the blog and i'll be back this evening with the today show so we'll see you then